I'm just over the moon. This It's so surreal because one of the craziest things is that I've been to this property before. It was for sale way back when. My mom showed it to me. I was just starting to get really big into photography and I drove here and wandered up and took some photos. I have those photos still. One thing, but it's like what comes yeah, with really it. Job, it? <laughs> House is alive. <laughs> the community, the neighborhood, the street, all that. Good people. You're kidding me. Old blue, black. You gotta do me like that. Wow. <laughs> nice long driveway. Right. I love the drive. Ever since Allie moved into my tiny apartment more than two years ago, we knew it was too small. And when I got rid of my old office and we crammed both of our offices into the apartment to save money, it got even tighter and harder to breathe. We've been looking for a new place for about two years, but things just weren't lining up. And when we went to check this place out earlier this winter, we got a good feeling right away. And so even though I didn't have the tax returns I needed quite yet, we placed a bid but we were immediately outbid. And though we were bummed, we let go of the idea and moved on. Until one day, two months later, my realtor texted me. She said the financing fell through on the people who tried to buy it and asked if we were still interested. And then somehow, the tax returns came in just in time and we were able to make it happen. closet of my apartment. Can't even fit a guitar in here. Just big enough to have a microphone and do a voiceover. Opening the door, it's hitting into some of my lighting equipment, my C-stand that I have to hide behind the other door because this whole place is tiny. Hard to even explain, but I can barely open the door because it runs into the lighting equipment. <laughs> so just can't wait to be in the new house and uh, have actual space to create freely. My whole life is shoved into this tiny little room. And Allie's is right there in the middle of everything. And it's so chaotic. Yeah, we don't have a couch, we don't have anywhere. This is, we sit at this little table right now. I can't wait to have a couch and a place to relax and a reading chair. I don't have a reading chair in my life. One of the last weeks, so you're gonna have to have your office right in the middle of our house. One of the last times we would have to bring all our gear through this tiny little hallway stuff all our clothes in this tiny little closet, cook a meal in this tiny little kitchen. But I was just taking this video as a documentation of exactly what it felt like in here. Look at this. There's mattresses over there. <laughs> And on the day we closed, we pulled up to a magnificent spring explosion. The whole yard is covered in white wow. <laughs> It's glorious. This is so pretty. This means it should happen every year. Yeah, 100%. And look at we've got cherry trees down over there. New viewers might be wondering, why don't you live at the cabin full time? You just moved in. The truth is, there's no reliable utilities or Wi-Fi at the cabin. And that's exactly how that place is supposed to be. It's an escape from the computers and the connectivity. There's cottonwood. Oh, it's so bendy right there. <laughs> yeah. But also there's limited space and there's no access in the winter. And with Ali and I both having online businesses, we need a reliable base camp in our lives. The place needed love, a lot of love. 
It had been neglected for years. None of the appliances worked and they were all dirty. The water pressure was low and there was no hot water and there were lots of leaks and deterioration overall. I've learned from experience over the years to document more than you think you need to or want to capture the state it's in right now before we make any changes because it will never be the same again. This place is going to be a big transformation because while it's an awesome property, it's in need of a lot of work. It needs a new roof. It needs a lot of serious drainage dug. It needs all new siding. It needs a lot of new windows. It needs a lot of new trim around the windows. The driveway needs to be redone. It's all stuff that I've done before through the years and am excited to take on. It's weird because a similar sort of scenario happened with the cabin where I, I had been there before it went for sale many, many years before, and then it went up for sale and I ended up getting it. And similar scenario with this property. It's just wild the way things work out. I can't believe this is ours. There's so many plans we have, but we're really not gonna get into it until next year. For right now, we're gonna store all of our stuff get our offices ready and get it livable. We'll put our bed in here and... Well, this is the last time the apartment will ever look like this. From here on out, it's gonna be slowly getting emptied. This is where I transformed my life. This was my first true place of my own. There's part of me that's a little sad. I'm gonna miss this place. There's so many memories here, but it's, uh, it's good to know when it's time to move on. And that brings us to this video sponsor, which is Brooklinen. Brooklinen makes luxury bed sheets without the luxury markup. And from now through June 12th, they're having a sale on their linen collection. The link is below in the video description. I've been sleeping on Brooklinen sheets now for almost two full years. Once you invest in quality bed sheets, it's really hard to go back because quality sleep is one of the most important things you can do for your body and your mind. I started with their Lux Hardcore Bundle at the apartment. Also got their bath towels, bath mat. Then at the cabin, I started with their khaki linen sheets. Then we got the terracotta color. Also at the cabin, we have their comforter and their pillows. So the entire cabin bed is full Brooklinen. I get the deepest sleep when I'm at at the cabin. And now here at the new house, I've got the charcoal chambray. These are full 100% linens. I really, really like linen. It's breathable, but it's still very warm. And I just really like the look. Their website makes the experience so fluid and easy. It's very simple to use, very clear. And there's so many different selections and combinations. So from now until June 12th, you can get 20% off their entire linen collection. And if you're watching this video after the sale is over, you can still use my code Trout and Coffee and get $20 off an order of $100 or more. So thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video and for continuing to support this channel. And now back to the story be able to cook and eat and do laundry and edit but overall it's gonna be life at the cabin this year but I just want to do a total walk around right now before any major changes happen so the wildflowers are absolutely unbelievable and some of the fruit trees are blooming we got the purple there's this little shed which is gonna be very useful we'll redo that we'll make it match the house got actually really dry firewood right here we'll put a garden down here Look at this yard. Oh, look at the flowers. It's unbelievable. Allie's mom is here helping us clean. I can't believe this is the yard. It's so pretty. Oh, it's gonna be so cool having these videos to look back upon. Look at this. The stone wall. <clears throat> it goes all the way around all the way down. I'm gonna make some cross-country ski trails for us that I can groom in the winter with a snowmobile and we won't even need to leave our house to get a good workout in. Oh, this is so beautiful. Got an old goat pen or whatever. 
that we're probably gonna take down, clean up, and we will get chickens here next year, and we'll probably even get a goat, but for now, we're gonna clean it up. Gotta redo the whole balcony. It's all rotted, the whole thing. Got this whole stone patio, which I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to tear completely up, build some real drainage. There's the basement. Oh, I'm so excited about the basement. It wraps back around, and this is where I'll level it all off for the garden. And So we did a few little things and got it cleaned up the best we could, but we weren't going to invest a whole lot of time into this place for a while. We're going to be living at the cabin while we chip away on this. But the important part is that we're out of the apartment. The apartment was so constrictive on our lives. And especially since Allie's business started really taking off. She needs more space. She needs a dedicated office. So she's going to have that here. I'm going to have a dedicated office where I can actually have a sound booth that isn't in a closet. We just have so much more space. It's just going to free us up. I'm going to miss Depot Street, but boy. Do I love it here? One of the main orders of business was to get the water back up and running. And so I did a couple quick repairs with shark bites, which if you take the time to install correctly, should last a long time. And with every little challenge and repair, you learn something new and gain more confidence. Back at the house, gonna finish the water repairs. I needed a little bit more uh, copper. Finish the water repair, try turning on the water today. Is alive. The toilet must be filling up with water upstairs. Should we go look? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Is something on? <laughs> well. Everything leaks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The house is alive! <laughs> Meeting Mitch this morning. Now the water heater won't turn on and it's hardwired and Mitch is an electrician. So we're gonna see if he can figure out why it's not firing on. Seeing the tulips still going strong. Wow. It's so green now too, it is. Yes. Bye. 
Nice. You didn't take a photo. Uh, uh. <laughs> I will gladly take a Back photo. Ready? Ready? That's how we found the secret note. Hey. Wow. <laughs> you got a real special talent, don't you? I've been working on it. That's <laughs> blue neck. Time to get this old dirty bird out of here. It really is so much better than I thought it was, especially after handling the new fridge. Oh yeah, this, it's like <laughs> bigger than usual. It's bigger than the one in our apartment. Yeah. And so I got a propane fridge for the cabin and moved the electric fridge that we had there to the house, which was one working appliance, but we still needed the rest. And one afternoon, I went and picked up my old snowmobiles from my friend John's place. As I actually had my own place to park them now, where they wouldn't be stranded come winter. Not that either of them ran after last season, but I'll deal with that come fall. And I also talked to John about what tractor I might consider buying for the new property, and he gave me some good advice. And even just on a few days of doing errands and moving things between the cabin and the house, I got a taste of what life would be like in the hills full time when all my days would be spent on back roads instead of the highway between the apartment and the cabin. Time for a swim. One of the first real dips of the year. And if there's anything I know for sure, it's that the more time I spend in the hills, the more I feel like myself. Since the days of starting my business, I spent most months paying for two storage units, an office, and an apartment, all rented. And now, I can consolidate all of that into one place and pay to own something that fits my life perfectly. Yeah, the house is one thing, but it's like what comes with it. The community, the neighborhood, mm -hmm. the stream, all that. Good people for kidding me what I've never seen anything like that in my entire life what? Natural too. and when my other friend John came to explore the property with me we found things I didn't even know were there yet which made the land that much more special and then I showed Allie what we had found can you believe it which included a vernal pool doesn't this change everything? And I kept moving things and collecting materials, but ended up getting stranded in Old Blue. <sighs> Only to have her fire up right as my friend Jared came to rescue me. And so he followed me back to the new house and we tinkered with her for a bit. And I was beginning to feel what it would be like to have an easily accessible meeting place for my friends and I. still running, but she was being a little finicky. And this was a time when I needed her most, as we had to be out of the apartment soon. And it was on one of these errand nights that I was able to swing by a honey hole just before dark, which is the kind of thing I've been dying to do. But it doesn't happen when I spend a lot of my time back in town, working out of the apartment. So again, I was feeling the positive change of the new place.
And meanwhile, it was a total dream to come back home to the cabin and see Allie and Mowgli and sleep in the cloud bed where I always woke with the sun. My new tripod. Yeah. No. No. Just go. Did he just take off? He's a June bug killer. That's why he wants to come out here at night so bad. <laughs> this is so fun, Moss. It's so cool to come from that place, which is like kind of bunk, but it's still nice. I'm so excited to live at the cabin this year That's and amazing. just like let that be half bunk and just yeah. like, I just want our computer set up, a bed and hot water mm -hmm. so we can shower and work on our videos was, and then we live here. Yeah, that would be a really fun time. Be yeah. I was wondering if you would walk up to see the porcupine with me. How do you know he's still there? Because he isn't moving. He's, mm -hmm. But I didn't know. And on this night, we cooked steaks with fresh rosemary from the garden. And I felt grateful for everything that had lined up in order to get to this point. The relentless dedication and countless nights of working into the wee hours were paying off. There was still endless work ahead, but it was going to be a very memorable journey. This steak makes such a difference. Now. Wow. Wow. And so I continued to clean up old junk around the cabin property, where I could now throw it away easily in our private trash at the new house. Stuck in the driveway, truck won't start. It turns over like crazy with vigor and it just won't fire. So it's either fuel or spark. I definitely want to check the distributor, make sure I've got spark. Man, we got oil coming out where it shouldn't be. Why you did it to me, oh blue? Well, he picked me up. Now I gotta drive back to the cabin, pick up the lawnmower and some other things from the truck. was going to be more work to keep both properties at bay. They were ours, and the days of paying someone else's mortgage and abiding by their rules were over. It was a privilege to now have two incredible locations in my life, but there were no shortcuts in getting them, only dedication and hard work. And that's what it's going to take to get both of them to the vision I see in my head. And while I look forward to being at that point, I'm focused more than ever on enjoying the journey there.